What up, cuckolds? It's your boy the hair once again. And if you loved my WWE review, then you're probably going to love the AW review. Just like last time, we have a few categories here, but the categories are a little bit different. We learn as we evolve, Cucks. So we've got the category of star, which is someone that we actually like a lot. We have the category of keep, which is not quite a star, maybe a mid-carder, maybe a jobber that we still like. Then we've got my favorite category, fire this jobber, as well as the most humiliating of the categories. Who in the blue hell is that? Fire immediately, right? So even people that I do know, if I hate them too much, they might end up in this low-level category. So let's start with Aaron Solo. All right. Who in the blue hell is that? Fire him immediately. I've, I know that he used to date Sasha Banks, but that's all I know about him. What are his finishing moves? What What's his gimmick? I don't know anything, so he needs to go. Abaddon. I like her stick. I say keep Abaddon. Action Andretti. Fire this jobber. The fuck is that, really? Adam Cole. I know who he is, obviously, but he needs to, he needs to go. Uh, Adam Page. Eh. All right, we'll keep him for now because, like, he has some re- – eh, no, no, he doesn't. He goes fire this jobber. Alan Angels, I love this guy, was already fired, to be honest. He's a low-level jobber, so he's, he goes into who in the blue hell is that category. Alex Abrantes, I like him. I like his contributions to the, those bad guys. Alex Marvis, don't know who that is. Fuck him. Uh, Alex Reynolds, I barely know who that is, right? Let's be real. Like, he's just part of the dark order, but I don't care. Andrade, he's not in the cup anymore, but he's still on this list. Angelico, fire this jobber. Angela Parker, I don't know what he's all about now that he's on his own. I don't know. Anna J, I don't like her. Fire her. Anthony Bowens, keep. I like Anthony Bowens. This is not Big Swole. This is some fucking dude. Big Swole's not in this company anymore, so we're just going to leave that here. Anthony Ogogo, fire this jobber. Like, this guy now has long hair, but I didn't know this because I haven't seen him in years. So they could have just presented him as a new guy. AQA? What the fuck is AQA? AR Fox? I like Air Fox, but yeah, I guess we'll keep him. Ari Davari, fire this jobber, man. Arn Anderson, fire this jobber. Why does he even have a job? Athena. Okay, I I, I always liked Athena. You know, uh, Aubrey Edwards. I mean, I don't know what to say about Aubrey Edwards. Like, I don't like her, but I mean, you need referees. You know, like you need somebody to be the referee. Why not Audrey Edwards? Fuck it. You know, Austin Gunn, keep him, of course. Bandito, I have no idea what that is. Bear Boulder and Bear Bronson. I have no idea what the fuck these guys are. I think I've seen them once or twice, but I don't care. Brian Danielson with a picture of Big Cass, of Big Bill. So that's kind of annoying. Wait, what? What the hell's going on here? What the hell? Oh, this must be Brody King then. Okay, Brody King. I like Brody King. This looks different here, but I think I get it now. They... There was some sort of switching around going on here. Big Bill. I like Big Bill. He aims in. Uh, where's Brian Danielson? Then he's got to be here somewhere. Been this bitch. There he is. Okay, good. Now everything's in order. Big Swole. She's already been fired, but who the fuck is she, anyways? Billy Gunn, star. Billy Gunn's a legend. Bobby Fish, fire this jobber. Brandy Rhodes, fire this jobber. Brandon Cutler, can't believe this fucking asshole stole a job. Brian Cage, star. Like, uh, I know that he's not a star in AW, but he has star qualities. He could become a star tomorrow if they so chose, you know? Brian Pillman Jr., um, I mean, he's in WWE now, but we got to keep him. This is an old list, apparently. Cucks. Uh, but bear with me. Britt Baker, get rid of her. Like, she's not good enough. Brock Anderson, this is like, like, I know who he is, but he's got to go into the lowest level because he's just shit. Mr. Brody Lee, I mean, all right, so we're going to say we're going to keep him in the context of what's going on here. I think it's really cool that they've kept him in there as a character, so good for them. Brody Lee, same thing. He's dead, but if he were alive, obviously we'd keep him. Uh, Brody King again. Like, okay, so we're going to put Brody King in there. No, this is Anthony Hendry. Who the fuck is that? Beat it. Brian Danielson. Um, ah, this is difficult. He's got to go. What does he offer? Nothing. Beat it. Bryce Remsburg. All right, he's a referee. We got to keep him. 
Bunny Matthews, fire him completely. Bunny, I don't even know if she's there, so she goes here. Cash Wheeler, uh, fire him. I don't like him. Cesar Bononi, don't like him either. Chavo Guerrero works with these fuckers, or at least worked with them at some point. Fire this jobber. Chris Jericho, I don't think this is like, it needs any more explanation. He's a, an ace. Christian Cage, my favorite wrestler of all time. Obviously, we're going to keep him. Christopher Daniels, I love Christopher Daniels. I'm a big CD guy. Uh, Chuck Taylor, eh, for what he is, I, I always like Chuck. Claudio Castagnoli, for what he is, we can keep him too. CM Punk is not there anymore, but in AW, he would have had to keep his ass. Cody Rhodes, same thing. This is like, they should be mid quarters. Cole Carter. I don't know who that is, motherfucks. Cole Cabana, fire this jobber. Colton Gunn, I like Colton Gunn. Uh, Eddie Kingston, this is not Eddie Kingston. This is Dalton Castle. Why are they fucking this up, man? He's an ROH guy. Dan Lambert, I don't know who that is. Sounds familiar. Dan Housen, fire this guy immediately. Daniel Garcia, fire this guy immediately. Dante Martin, uh, fire him. He's, he's not anything. Darby Allen. Darby Allen, uh, this is difficult because I almost want to put him here. He does have some star qualities. Like uh, Considering what this list is turn, turning into, he's got to stay there. Darius Martin, just like his boring-ass brother, needs to go. Dasha Gonzalez is boring. She needs to go. Dax Harwood is boring. He needs to go. Diamante. I don't like her. Is she a referee now? Either way, I don't like her cucks. Uh, Don Callis. You got to keep him, I guess. Dustin Rhodes. You got to keep Dustin. You know, yeah. or Earl Hebner. Is, if I didn't know Earl Hebner worked there, Earl Hebner is a legend, motherfucks. That's not even close. Eddie Kingston fired this jobber. Emmy Sakura. I don't know who she is. Is she the one that has like a Freddie Mercury gimmick? I'm not sure, so I'm putting her here. Ethan Page is already gone, and he's in uh, uh, NXT, but he's a jobber there too. Evil Uno, he needs to go. Excalibur, eh. he's a good announcer, I guess. You know? Mark Gastineau, I don't know who that is. He's a referee, but I've never heard of him before in my life. Frankie Kazarian, Ugh. I will keep him. I've always liked Frankie Kazarian, but it's pretty much time for him to stop. Fuego Del Sol, fire this jobber. Uh, for the little soul again, I had this job, motherfucker. You can ask me a hundred times, bitch. Griff Garrison, I like Griff Garrison. Hikaru Shida, I like Hikaru Shida. She's she's okay, and she's an attractive woman. So it's like compared to the other women in wrestling, she's like one of the more attractive ones. So there you have it. Well, she's kind of hot. She's not in this company. But if you were, we'd keep his ass. Hook, I like Hook. Isaiah Cassidy, not anymore. I used to like him, but now he's a fire. This jobber. Jack Evans, same thing. Jack Perry, same thing. Jade Cargill, obviously, she's a star, so she needs to be here in the keep. She's not really a star, like in the context, you know, she could have been. Actually, yeah, I'm going to say she is a star because for AW, she was a star. You know, like they worked hard on her. They put her in the ring with Shaq and things like that. Like they gave her a lot of high profile moments only to eventually let her go, which was really stupid. Well, fucking Jake Atlas. I, oh, yeah. Um, he's, the, he's like a gay dude. I remember him. Jake Hager, these are just like jobbers. I mean, let's be honest. I used to like Jake Hager, but like I can't just deny that it's been several years of him doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like that can't, that's not excusable. He's pretty much, at this point, he's just stealing from Tony Khan. Jake Roberts. Uh, this is like a different Jake Roberts. Jake Roberts is like, I would put him under keep, but I would keep him because he could be like a good, um, you know, a good manager for literally anybody here, maybe like Hook or something. Who knows? Then we got Jamie Hayter. I didn't know she was still there. Fire this job or she stole my name. Uh, Jay Briscoe, rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. In my opinion, Jay Briscoe has always been a star. Jay Lethal. Eh. Normally I'd say keep him, but now he's a job or so he needs to bounce. Jay Briscoe, on the other hand, uh, like aside from the Dudley boys, which are obviously my favorite tag team of all time, like I think the Briscoes are the objectively the second best tag team of all time. So uh, big fan of the Briscoes. Jay White fired this jobber. The fuck, JD Drake? No, I don't know what that is, motherfucks. Jeff Hardy is a legend, and he needs to be treated as such, by the way. Now, I, I don't like how they hire these Jeff Hardy types and they have him wrestle some jobber. Have him wrestle like Dean Ambrose. You know, that's what people want to see. Jeff Jarrett, underrated legend. I love Jeff Jarrett. Bam, do, do, do. Ah, this is difficult. Fire him. Like, um, I hate to put JR in the jobber category here because 
JR definitely is not a jobber. Prime JR is the second best announcer of all time after Jerry the King Lawler, in my personal opinion. But AEW, AEW uh, Jim Ross is a jobber. Like, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't know what's going on. He just he doesn't care. I, I have no doubts that he could do the same job that he did in WWE in the Attitude Era. No doubts. It's just that I think in order for him to, like, tap into that level of JR, he needs to, you know, kind of, like, be that level of JR. You know what I mean? He, he can't just do that like on a whim, right? He needs a reason to do it. And unfortunately in AW, there's no reason. So he's not going to do it. And it's really that simple up in this bitch. Jimmy Havoc, he was uh, fired for like being a pervert or something. I don't remember. He might need to go here. Joey Janela, I think, I don't think he's there anymore, but he might be if he is. Fired this job. John Silver, I like John Silver. I'd keep him. He's my favorite person from Dark Order. John Moxley, like, at this point, he's almost on the star category. Like, because he is a draw for them. But I'm going to put him in key because I don't think he's quite at that level. Now, nah, he needs to go into star. Uh, for AW, he's a huge star. Um, this is Jonathan Gresham, who I think performs for ROH. I'm not, I don't have anything to say about him, but he can bounce. This is, what? Jora Jora? What the fuck is that? Jora Joel? That's not a real thing. Jose the manager. Wait. Isn't who's Jose the manager? I only know Alex Abrahantes. Isn't he the one that accompanies like fucking Pentagon? Okay, then I don't know who this guy is. He can go fuck himself. Uh Josh Woods. Don't know who that is. Julia Hart. Um, Jobber. I don't like her. What do you think of that? Justin Roberts. I mean, like if you had a company and you didn't have an announcer, you, you could do worse than Justin Roberts. Oh, we'll keep him. Leva Bates. What? She has tattoos now? Wasn't she like the librarian or some shit? Oh, whatever. They put it on Keith Lee now. Keith Lee, uh, he needs to go. Fire this jobber. I can't believe he's still there. This is Kayla. I don't know who that is. Kenny Omega. Okay, you can keep him. You can get a you, you can make him a mid-card champion or something. Kara Hogan, don't really know who that is. I've heard the name. I don't think I've ever seen her wrestle. Kylin King. Name sounds familiar, but I don't know her, motherfuckers. I couldn't tell you what her finishing move is. Kip Sabian, this is like fire the job immediately. Konoske Takeshita, okay, he's, he's growing on me. Takeshita, I'm starting to like him. Chris Strat Statlander, the Statlander broad. Eh. He could do worse than her, you know, like everything considered, she can stay on under keep. Kyle O'Reilly, he, he needs to go. Lance Archer, man, like, like Lance Archer should have been a star. But because he's not, he's got to go on to fire this jobber. You know what I'm saying? Lee Johnson and Lee Moriarty. Like, I think 99% of the world, 100% of the world almost, but 99% of AW fans, if you told them that this is Lee Moriarty and this is Lee Johnson, like nobody would question you. Like nobody knows who the fuck these guys are, right? They're both these two guys who are, who are the same size named Lee, and they're just jobbers. Then we've got Layla Gray. I can't believe she's still there. She must not be there anymore. Jobber. Leva Bates. So she's not the same one. Jobber. Lexi Nair. I think she's like an announcer or something. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. But she needs she belongs here because I don't know who she is. Layla Hirsch. This woman. I know this list is old, but this woman cannot possibly have a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, no way. Leo Rush. I know he's not there anymore. I saw him on the challenge, so fuck out of here. Luchasaurus. Uh, this is tough. Uh, or kill switch as they call him now. Put him on keep. He deserves at least one run without his mask. Luther. I like Luther. You know, like he deserves a shot. Madison Rain. Fire her. The fuck is this? Some Japanese person. I don't know what that is. Maki Ito. Fuck that shit. Malachi Black fired this jobber. Marina Shafir. Um, she needs to go. I'm sorry. Mark Briscoe, damn boys, star. Uh, Mark Henry, star. Obviously, it's not even close. You gotta keep Mark Henry. They're gonna let him go, but you gotta keep him. Mark Sterling, I don't like. I know he's like a manager, but he's a jobber, so he needs to get fired. Marco Stunt, uh, he's been gone. This is a good list because it has some old people that they've already fired. So I feel like there's a lot there, but yeah, I would keep Marco Stunt. He 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 could play an important Spike Dudley role. Mark Quinn, fire this jobber. 
Matt Hardy. Uh, I'd keep. You could always do something with Matt Hardy. You know what I mean? Matt Jackson. It's a little bit. All right, we have to get like the Young Bucks are a solid tag team, and they're generally, uh, generally speaking, they're you know, you can get a good match out of them when you need to. Matt Bernard, Matt Seidel. Now I didn't know there'd be so many people that I didn't know. So this category is now like a legit category, you know. Um, some of them I do know, like I know Bunny, but it's like I don't know what she's been doing, you know. But some of them I really don't know, like Jora Joel and Bear Bronson. Like I don't know who the fuck these people were. Max Caster, obviously you got to keep uh, Max Caster. Mercedes Martinez, you could do worse. I like Mercedes Martinez. Michael Nagazawa, this is just stupid. Mike Posey, the name sounds familiar, but and you got to keep some wrestlers. So I mean, some referees. Uh, Minoru Suzuki, Minoru Suzuki is probably my favorite Japanese wrestler that is still wrestling. You know, in like a in like a main company. I I love Minoru Suzuki. He's just like he's like one of the only Japanese wrestlers that has some sort of character. To him, so I like him a lot. So he's a start to me. Miro fired this jobber, unfortunately. MJF. I mean, like, I know that he's old for people like him, but I don't. So he's gonna go to fire this jobber, kiss my ass. Nick Camarado should be pushed. Nick Jackson, you gotta keep him. This is not pressed advance. This is like that Nick, uh, whatever the guy that hangs out with Christian. I don't like him. Nyla Rose. You got to fire her. She hasn't, like, they made it seem as if Nyla Rose was going to be, like, the women's, like, force to be reckoned with, and she hasn't been on TV in, like, a year, so he's a fuck. Okada. I mean, if you got to have Japanese wrestlers, you can definitely do worse than Okada, so we'll keep his bitch ass. Orange Cassidy, I don't like him, so he needs to be fired. I understand it. I get it. I don't like it. Ortiz, fired. Pac. Like, literally, if you had asked me two weeks ago, I would have said, keep this guy, but I'm tired of him, man. I'm tired of Pac. Every, every four months, fucking Pac makes his triumphant return to AEW. You know what I mean? All this cocksucker does is he returns. You know, like every once in a while, it'll be like, oh, next week Pac's coming. And it's like, dude, Pac, like, comes, wrestles once, leaves. Five months later, Pac is coming back. Oh, Death Triangle is back together. Like, Death Triangle is one of the worst factions of all time because they made their shitty group. And then all of a sudden, it's like every three weeks, one of them gets injured and is gone for like five months. So it's like five months, they don't have Ray Phoenix. Five months, they don't have Pentagon. Five months, they don't have Pac. It's like, what are we watching here then, Cucks? Paige Van Zandt, obviously she needs to go. Parker Boudreaux. Um, I know who he is because he was like the crazy guy in uh, NXT, but I, I, he's got to go here because I've never seen him wrestle. Uh, Paul White, I mean, come on. That's a no-brainer. That's obviously a legend. Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford has the qualities of a star. Penelope Ford is exceptionally attractive, um, and she's got good, like, acting, if you will. So I'd keep her there. Pental Cerro Miedo. He's as close as it gets to me. Him and Ray Phoenix are as close as it gets to stars, but they still belong in, their, in under keep, unfortunately. Peter Avalon fired this job. Paras Hobbs. That's a star in the making. Preston Vance, fire this jobber. Now, okay, upon further thinking, Powerhouse Hobbs, even though like he's higher than most of the people here, he hasn't really made a name for himself yet. So he needs to go here, and so does Penelope Ford. Like, if we're being honest, right, like, John Moxley is a much bigger deal than Powerhouse Hobbs. Like, I think Powerhouse Hobbs has the highest ceiling out of probably everyone here, aside from, like, the legends, like Jeff Hardy and shit like that. But he's not a star, right? Whereas, for example, Brian Cage is a star because he made himself a star in Lucha Underground. And John Moxley obviously made himself a star in WWE. So there you have it, cucks. All right, I'm tired of referees. They're all going here now. I don't know who Paul Turner is. QT Marshall, I used to think he was good, but I don't anymore, so he goes here. Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix is a, is a definite keep. I like Ray Phoenix. Rebel, um, it's not working out. Red Velvet, one of the worst concepts of all time. Rene Paquette, one of the worst announcers of all time. Rick Knox, I don't know who he is. I know he's a ref, but I don't know who he is. I don't know who Paul Turner is. I don't know who Frank Gastino is. Uh, Ricky Starks. And this guy, it comes and goes. At first, I'd say keep, but now he belongs here. 
after after Edge buried him on the mic, it's like he really just doesn't look like another rock ripoff. And it's like we've already seen that done by a better wrestler, so go fuck yourself. Riho, fire this broad. Rocky Romero, I used to like him, but his infrequency leads me to put him here. Ruby Soho is like an automatic fire for me. Roosh sucks. Who's this guy? Ryan Nemeth. It must be Dolph Ziggler's little brother. Fire this bitch. Sammy Guevara. Fire him. He hasn't done anything for like two years. Samoa Joe. Eh, I don't like Samoa Joe, so he needs to go here. Mike Santana, he's already gone, but I'd fire him if he hadn't. Saraya, she needs to go. Satnam Singh, like, I know he just had a match recently, but the reality is, if like three years this guy was there, just hanging out behind Sanjay Dutt, not doing anything, so that's not good enough. He needs to go. Scorpio Sky, uh, he sucks. Serena Deeb, I like Serena Deeb. Uh, Serpentico. I don't know. I, I confuse him with the other one, so he's going to go here, motherfucks. Sean Dean, I have no clue who the fuck that is. Sean Spears, he needs to be fired immediately, and he was. Or he quit or whatever. Sky Blue, like, I'm not even sure if this is her picture, but so she needs to go here, actually, because I don't know who the fuck she is. Sanjay, I like Sanjay, but I don't like this Sanjay. So this Sanjay needs to bounce. Sunny Kiss. Like, there's something there because, like, you know, um, Sunny Kiss being that they're part of, like, the LGBTQ community, they have a built-in gimmick. But this gimmick is never going to be, like, actually realized, so they need to get fired because they haven't done anything else. Stephen Smith, never heard of him, motherfucks. Uh, St Sting. I mean, he's a legend, motherfucks. I, I, like, there's no, there's no way around it. He's a legend, and quite honestly, his run in AW – it's been pretty good, like if you compare it to the runs of other people. So I, I dig it. Stokely Hathaway, he sucks. I never understood what the big deal about this this guy being a manager was. Stu Grayson sucks. Swerve Strickland. Uh like I'd keep him. Like, you know, he, he could make a good mid-card champion, but he should never be the world champion. Uh Tain, Tainara Mello or Tayana Mello, whatever the fuck her name is. Uh she needs to go. Taz. We don't really need him and, and Excalibur, so Taz can go. The Blade and the Butcher. The Blade, he needs to go. He sucks. The Butcher, I like the Butcher. Thunder Rosa needs to go. She's just like the female Pac. Every couple of weeks she comes back. Tony Storm, I don't like her, motherfucks. But I, I will give her props for her gimmick. So she goes in the keep category. Trench. This is not Trench. This is Tony Khan. I mean... I'm going to put him in the who in the blue hell is that? Because... I don't know how to rate Tony Khan, right? Like, on one hand, he's a legend because he's a star because he in created this company. But on the other hand, he's not really a figure. So it is what it is. We'll put him there, motherfucks. Tony Nice, fire this guy. Shivani. Shivani needs to go to WB, honestly. Trent Beretta, I don't like him anymore. Fire this jobber. Tolly Blanchard. Who the fuck is Tolly Blanchard, honestly, right? It's like... If they didn't tell you that he was part of the Four Horsemen, you wouldn't know that he was part of the Four Horsemen. You know what I mean? Like, Ric Flair, everybody knows he's part of the Four Horsemen because that's all they talk about, right? And you know it was him and Arn Anderson. And then all of a sudden, there's another guy called Oli, and then there's another guy called Tolly. And it's like, who the fuck are these guys? I'll tell the story again real quick. For one of my birthdays, my friend took me to this independent wrestling show where I got the chance to meet Ric Flair. And along with Ric Flair was Tolly Blanchard. And, like, I get to shake Ric Flair's hand and take a picture with them both. But I don't give a shit about Tolly Blanchard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who he was. My friend, he's like, yo, who's that guy? I'm like, ah, he's got to be one of the four horsemen. I don't know which one he is, though. I know he's not Arn Anderson. And I know he's not Ric Flair. I'm like, so he's either Ole Anderson or he's Tolly Blanchard. So who the fuck is he? I'm not going to pretend that Tolly Blanchard is a legend. He's not a legend. Fuck out of here. That would be like saying that, like, like you know, um, because Undertaker's in the Hall of Fame, that Midian is, is a legend. Fuck out of here. No, absolutely not. Biggie Guerrero is a legend, in my personal opinion. Biggie Guerrero represents um, something great. Where did she go? Where's Vicky? There she is. She's a legend because she didn't have to do everything she did, but she got it done. She provided for her family by working for WWE and becoming a very, very memorable character. Like when it's all said and done. Right? In 20, 30 years. Do you think anybody's going to remember Action Andretti? No. But everyone's going to remember it, uh, Vicky Guerrero. 
uh, Wardlow. I, no, I, there's no more chances, motherfucks. Fire this jobber. Fuck that shit. How many chances does Wardlow need to get? Like this guy, it's like if Wardlow was a real person, he'd be the dumbest motherfucker of all time. It's like all he does is become a lackey for someone, then tolerate a lot of abuse, and then he beats up his boss only to become a lackey for the other guy. Give a flying fuck. Wheeler Yuta. Fire this job, bro. He's never drawn a dime. Will Ospreay. All right. I like Will Ospreay, all things considered, so we're going to keep his ass. William Regal. He's where he belongs in WWE. Um, otherwise, he would have a pretty good spot here, and we'd keep his ass. Willow Nightingale. I don't give a fuck. Yuka Sakazaki, I don't give a fuck. Zack Sabre Jr., fire this motherfucker. What just happened here? Punk ass bitch. Go. Trench, don't know who the fuck that is. Bounce. Kaya Valkyrie, fire. Haley Cameron, don't know her, bitch. Roderick Strong, fi uh, fire. Kyle Fletcher, fire. I don't. I know these are the two Australian guys, so like, I know who they are, but I don't give a shit about them. And there you have it, motherfucks. Uh, this relatively out of date um, AW roster tier thing. I'm trying to think of who who we forgot. Uh, Mercedes Monet, she's new and she wasn't on this, I don't think. So she needs to be fired, obviously. Um, who else? What else we got here? Yeah, anything? I mean, they had Okada, and he's like relatively new to the company. So. Uh, Adam Copeland, I didn't see him here, which is kind of weird. Uh, he would obviously be a star. Um, I think that's it, motherfucks. There you have it. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stars. But of these stars, the ones that could realistically wrestle are and like you know and do well are Billy Gunn, Brian Cage, Jericho, Christian Cage. Daniels, Darby Allen, Hardy, um, obviously not Jay Briscoe because he's dead, but Mark Briscoe could, and Jeff Jarrett kind of, Moxley kind of. So you could have a pretty good division with these guys. Like these should be the guys that are in the main event. You know, even Billy Gunn. Like I don't care. You know, be like, oh, I don't need an aging Billy Gunn to beat like uh, Jay White up. Why he would do it in real life? He would. Billy Gunn in real life would beat the shit out of Jay White. Right, so uh, like you know, people are like he's too old. So what? Like th that only works, motherfucks. If you have like sixty-year-old Billy Gunn and you're putting him putting him against thirty-five-year-old Billy Gunn, and then you're like, oh yeah, thirty-five-year-old Billy Gunn would murder him, right? But you're not. You have sixty-year-old Billy Gunn and you're putting him against like fucking Kip Sabian. You know, he would destroy Kip Sabian. So with that being said, I stand by all this shit. There's a good mid-card scene here. Got a few good ones. Powerhouse Hobbs. Brody King, at any moment, they can pop off and get to the to the main event here. Claudio, Chuck Taylor can fight for the jobber title. CM Punk and Cody should be there as well. Um, you know, there you have it, motherfucks. Like, Dustin Rhodes should be presently one of their mid-carders, their mid-card champs. Um, Matt Hardy, uh, I don't think he's quite a legend like Jeff Hardy is. Eh, actually, you gotta, like, gotta put him here because... Uh, for a long time, obviously, Jeff Hardy was like the Hardy brother. But after the whole broken Matt thing, Matt Hardy got them got them hired again. And he pretty much added like 15 years to their careers. So you got to you gotta give Matt Hardy the props of being legendary. He also had some successes in WWE without Jeff. Like he had like a title reign, like a tag team title reign with Bray Wyatt as his partner. He won the fucking Andre the Giant Battle Royal. You know, he did a few things. So, like, I got to give props to uh, to Matt here. Everybody else just feels like a mid-carder. Like, what would, what would be so bad about Luther being, like, a mid-carder? You know what I mean? What would be so bad about Nick Camarado and Luther for the for the mid-card title, right? I don't know. Just saying. Just food for thought, cucks. Uh, these people here need to go immediately. As you can see, the vast majority of them fell here. Some of them I didn't know. I'll do some course correction here. Like, I know Big Swole, but she's a jobber. Actually, I kind of like Big Swole, but she's not there anymore, so I can't really, can't really speak to her. But when she was around, like, she was kind of a jobber. Uh, Aaron Solo. I know he is. He's a jobber. 
I'm, I'm not sure who this guy is. I think he was part of Aces and Eights, but he, he had hair. I'm not sure. This guy, I know he is. He's a jobber. Andrade, I know he is. He's a jobber. Anything go go. Of course, I know he is. He's a jobber. I know them jobber. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Worst jobber of all time. Uh, don't know this guy. Bunny, uh, I know she's a jobber. Fuck this guy. Cole Carter, never heard of him in my life. Dalton Castle. Eh, he's a jobber. I know he is, though. Don't know her, don't know her, don't know her, him. Don't know Josh Woods. I should know him, but I don't. Don't know whatever this broad is. Kiro, I don't know. I don't know any of these broads. Uh, Parker Boudreau, I don't know. I'm like, I know who he is, but like, I can't say that I know him. Uh, the better question is who the fuck is this guy, right? Uh, Serpentico. Like, I don't. I don't think I've seen these motherfuckers wrestle. There's a guy called Trench. He looks like Tom McDonald. Pretty sure that's fucking Tom McDonald, motherfucks. Anyways, that's been your review. Uh, what are you? 2023 Aussie update. Fuck that shit. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. I'll make more of these. Uh, obviously, not more of the same thing, but you know, more you know, out of the box kind of videos up in this mug, motherfucks. <laughs>